Hi friends, welcome you. Today uh, we have already done I think two videos on triangles. I am doing one more video in which we will I will be doing some problems from the uh, old question papers of the 10th standard. Now I take one problem here. <coughs> the problem is like this. The diagonal BD of parallelogram ABCD intersects AE at F as shown in the figure. If E is any point on BC, then prove that DF into EF is equal to FB into FA. It's a two mark question. He has given a figure. Uh, this is the figure. This is a parallelogram. It is A, B, C, D. Is a parallelogram. Sorry, this is B. This is D. Uh, this way. A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. B, D is a diagonal. B, D is, a di is the diagonal. Now, here, there is some point E. E. EF is joined. When we join EF, it cuts the DB at F. This point is F. So this is a parallelogram means this side is parallel to this side. This side is parallel to this side. And these sides are equal also. These sides are equal. Similarly, these two sides are also equal. Because they are the sides, opposite sides of a parallelogram. Now, what we have to prove is, we have to prove DF into EF, EF is equal to FB into FA, this is what we have to prove, FB into FA. Now, what I do is, in triangles, in triangles, DAF or ADF, ADF and BEF. BEF. I can take it as EBF. EBF. Uh, we have, see, uh, this angle is equal to this angle. Angle DFA, angle DFA is equal to angle EFB, EFB because they are vertically opposite angles, vertically opposite angles, hence they are equal. Then this angle that is ADB, angle ADB is equal to angle, angle EBF, EBF because they are, they are alternate angles. These two sides are parallel, AD and EC is parallel and BD is a transversal. So they are uh, alternate angles. Well, they are called alternate angles, so they are equal. Hence, therefore, ADF, triangle ADF is similar to triangle EBF. EBF by uh, a A criterion, A A criterion, they are similar, they are similar. So if they are similar, we have A F by F B, F B is equal to D F by F B. DF by FB or or uh, 
एफ बी इंटू डी एफ और डी एफ इंटू बी एफ इंटू ए डी एफ इंटू डी एफ इंटू सॉरी एफ बाई एफ ये एफ बाई एफ ई इज इक्वल टू डी एफ बाई एफ बी करेक्ट डी एफ इंटू एफ ई इज इक्वल टू इज इक्वल टू एफ बी इंटू एफ ई ये एफ इंटू एफ बी सो दिस इज वॉट ही वॉन्ट्स एस टू प्रूव एंड वी हैव प्रूव इट दिस इज ए प्रॉब्लम फॉर टू मार्क्स then one more paper from one more paper i am taking a problem In triangle ABC, in triangle ABC, ABC, AD is perpendicular to BC. AD is perpendicular to BC, and and AD square is equal to BD into CD. BD into CD. Prove that. Prove that. A B square. A B square plus A C square is equal to B D plus C D plus C D the whole square. Yes, given a figure. A B C is a triangle. A B C is a triangle. Then in this triangle, A D is drawn like this. This A D is perpendicular to B C. A D is perpendicular to B C, and A D square is given as B D into C D. Now he wants us to prove this. Now in triangle, in triangle. A B D, A B D. We know that according to Pythagoras theorem, A B square, A B square, that is hypotenuse square, is equal to A D square plus plus B D square plus B D square. I'll call this as relationship one. Now in triangle ACD or ADC, again that's a right angle triangle. So AC square, AC square will be equal to AD square plus DC square. This I'll call as equation two. Adding. Equation and one and two, we get a b square plus a c square is equal to two a d square, a d square plus a d square plus b d square plus d c square. Now a b square plus a c square is equal to Uh, B D square plus D C square plus two. Instead of A D square, I can write it as B D into D C. B D into D C because it is given in the problem that A D square is equal to this thing. Now, this is of the form. 
this is of the form a square plus b square plus 2 into a into b 2a into b a square plus b square plus 2 a b so it can be written as b d plus d c the whole square so this is what he wants us to prove and we have proved this a b square plus a c square is equal to b d plus c d square or d c square d c the whole square so that is again a two mark question two marks question next we'll take one more problem in triangle abc in triangle abc abc de is parallel to bc de is parallel to bc right if ad is 5 cm if ad is 5 cm 5 cm BD is seven centimeter, seven centimeter, and AC is AC is equal to eighteen centimeter. Find the length of AE. Find the length of AE. This is now he has given a sketch also. The sketch is like this. ABC is a triangle. ABC is a triangle, right? In this triangle, there is a line DE. DE is DE is parallel to. This is parallel to this line BC. Now, <laughs> BD is seven centimeter. This is five centimeter. Now this whole length from here to here, it is eighteen centimeter. Eighteen centimeter. He wants us to find out a how much is this from here to here. It is how much. This is how much is. Now uh, because. Because BE is parallel to BC, parallel to BC, we have AD by DB, DB or BD is equal to AE by EC. This is one relationship. Now there is one more relationship, that is AE plus AE plus EC is is eighteen centimeter. So EC will be eighteen minus A. Eighteen minus A. So EC. This is EC. Now uh, AD is five. Five by DB or BD is seven. Is equal to AE. We don't know. We have to find out AE. Now EC also we don't know, but we know that it is eighteen minus AE. So I am substituting EC in terms of AE so that there is only one unknown quantity. Now uh, cross multiplying seven. A E seven A E is equal to five into eighteen minus E. So seven A E is equal to ninety. Five into eighteen is ninety minus five times E. Now this five A E, if I take this side. Seven A E plus five A E is equal to ninety. So twelve, twelve, 
uh, AE is 90, 90. So AE will be equal to 90 by 12. That is 330 times 34 times 2 ones, 2 2 are 2 15 are. So it is 15 by 2 or 7.5 centimeter. So this is this is 7.5 centimeter. So this is 10.5 centimeter. That's not asked. What is asked is AE. So the answer is this this A to E. That distance is 7.5 centimeter. Then this, that's also for two marks. Again, one more problem. We'll do one more problem. Let's do one more problem. In the given figure, if PQ is, R, is parallel to RS, prove that triangle POQ is similar to triangle SOR. Here is a figure. This is a figure. This is the given figure. Now this point is O, P, this is PQ, PQ, this is RS, RS, this point is O. Uh, this is what he wants to he wants us to prove. In the given figure, in the given figure, given figure. PQ parallel to RS. PQ is parallel to RS. Prove that triangle POQ. Prove that triangle POQ is similar to triangle SOR. Alright. Now here these two angles are equal because these two angles are equal because they are vertically opposite angles. Triangle uh, angle POQ angle POQ is equal to angle ROS because vertically opposite angles vertically opposite angles. Now QPO QPO is equal to PSR or QPS angle QPS is equal to QPS is equal to angle PSR because they are alternate angles alternate angles because PQ is parallel to RS. Similarly, now these two also are equal because again they are alternate angles. PQR, angle PQR is equal to angle QRS. QRS because they are again alternate angles. So therefore triangle POQ POQ is similar to triangle SOR by AAA criterion criterion right so we have to write like that so this is one problem next let us do one more problem Let's take one more problem. In the triangle ABD, in the triangle ABD, triangle ABD. ABD. C is a point on BD. C is a point on 
BD such that such that such that BC is to CD BC is to CD is equal to 1 is to 2 1 is to 2 and triangle ABC triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle equilateral triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle then prove that prove that AD square AD square is equal to 7 AC square 7 AC square now he has given a figure this is A B This is A B D Now C is on this side on B This is C this is C. Now this is BC is to CD is 1 is to 2. BC is to CD is 1 is to 2. And these three sides are equal. That is ABC is, a, is an equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle. Right. They, all the three sides are equal. That is AB is equal to BC is equal to AC. Now what we have to prove is, we have to prove AD square is equal to 7 times AC square. Now what I do is, from here, I will drop a perpendicular. From A, I will drop a perpendicular onto this onto BC. Now this becomes a 90 degree angle. In triangle ADE, what I have done? Draw AE perpendicular to BC. BC so that it cuts BC at E. Now in triangle e, in triangle AD, AED AED AD is the hypotenuse so AD square AD square will be equal to uh, AE square AE square plus ED square ED square, right? The square on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares on the other two sides. Now, AE, AE is BC by 2 or that is this, this point will be in the middle of BC or it can be written as AC by 2 also because BC is equal to AC. ABC is a equilateral triangle so AE will be BC by 2 or AC by 2 now ED ED will be ED will be EC plus EC plus CD now EC will be EC will be AC by 2 again AC by 2 it is EC or half of BC or it is AC by 2. Right. Uh, no. Here I have made a mistake. Uh, this is AC by 2 plus CD will be CD will be twice AC. 
twice AC. So this will be equal to 2 AC plus 2 A, uh, 4 AC. That is 5 AC by 2. 5 AC by 2. Which one? ED will be 5 EC by 2. Now, AE square, AE, uh, AE square will be equal to uh, AC square minus EC square. Why? Because this is again a right angle triangle, AEC, because AEC is a right angle triangle right angle triangle. So, AE square will be AC square minus EC square. Now, EC can be written as, so AE square is equal to AC square minus EC square can be written as AC by, uh, EC is AC by 2, AC by 2 the whole square or that is AC square AC square minus AC square by 4. Okay. Now AD square will be equal to here. Instead of ED, I can write it as 5 AC by 2 the whole square. And here it can be written as uh, 4 minus 1 3 3 AC by now AE square can be written as uh, AC square is equal to AE square plus EC square. So AE square will be AC square minus AE square minus sorry, EC square EC square So AC can be written as AC only minus EC can be written as BC by 2 or it can be written as AC by 2 the whole square. So AC square minus AC square by 4. So that will be, if you take 4 as LCM, 4 AC square minus AC square. That is 3 AC square divided by 4. 3 AC square. 3 AC square by 4. Now this will be 3 AC square by 4 plus 25 AC square by 4. So that will be 4 is the LCM here. 3 AC square plus 25 AC square. That is 3 plus 25 is 28 AC square divided by 4. 4 ones are 4, 4 sevens are 28. So AD square will be equal to 7 AC square. This is what he has asked us to prove and we have proved that. AD square is equal to 7 AC square. Now there may be other methods also by which it can be proved. And this is one of the method which I have followed. So you can uh, see if there is any simpler method than this, you can do it. Now I will rub this because I have done it once again there. Once again I have done it there. This is B, point B. Uh, this, this is, I have done. And I got AD square is equal to 7AC square. I think you have uh, understood this. We can do some more problems can be done. You can do problems from the 
uh, book also, textbook also you can do.